All right, this is Team GN Tech Industry, and uh, I'm the leader, Anso Myung, aka Sean. Uh, and let me introduce our team real quick. Uh, uh, me as a re- leader, I'm a my role in this team is mapper and designer, and Kim Eun Ji, uh, her role in this team is accountant and journalist, and Lee Jin Young, his role in this team is communicator and scheduler all right so let's go to the uh, second page a uh, problem definition so our problem was uh, manual labor a lot of manual labors in this uh, shrimp cultivating pond and uh, in, in manual labor uh, what they do is they manually check all the sensors and if if the dissolved oxygen in the water is below or not is is below the standard or not they check it by hands and by doing so uh there are a lot of human errors and uh usually because of the human errors the aerator which makes the bubbles and which makes the uh the 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 pond uh full of oxygen uh it gets overloaded and the the electric city bills uh they skyrocket so uh that was the problem and we uh came up with the our concept so our concept design is full automation so our main keyword is no touch automation and simpler apparatus less maintenance and lastly simpler codes more user friendly so uh so far uh all this um like from the educational apparatus to business apparatus uh a lot of these devices are very hard to maintain because their codes are very hard to manipulate and usually because it's money related it's like uh, the company's secret so see, with the security issue it is hard to actually uh, get what you want from this data so uh we came up with this very simple design with the simple functions so let's go to the uh page 4 detail design uh this is the uh the circuit that we came up with uh f- from the left you can see that the 12 dc motor and we actually used uh 12 volt B- BLDC motor because uh, our motor doesn't need to be uh, go reverse because it, it only needs to make the oxygen inside the water and then we use the L298N uh, drive drive uh, drive module for the Adreno and then we used three batteries three lithium ion batteries uh one eight six zero uh five zero and then we used the arduino uno and we used the uh, 20 by 4 lcd screen and then we also used this df robot uh do sensor yep and let's go to uh, page five uh making product so uh we wanted to actually make it as big as we could but that takes a lot of money and then we just wanted to show we just wanted to share our concept our pure concept so we came up with this uh, rig design like a oil rig on the ocean that's why we call it rig and you can see that there's a cap uh, it, it's uh, it's to protect the water and uh, no, it's to protect the circuits from the water 
and then in the cap there are gonna be batteries Dio chip Arduino and L298 and uh, a lot of circuits and also there's gonna be an LCD screen on the top of the cap and this uh, finally on the right this rig is going to sustain all the circuits and then there's a aerator under the rig uh, making the bubbles with the oxygen full of it and let's go to uh, page 6 uh, product user manual so from now on we're going to uh, uh, show you the video about how we could use it all right thanks for listening Okay, so what you're seeing now is the footage of the calibration of the DO probe and when it's calibrated, uh, the DO probe gets wet by the NaOH 0.5 mol per liter and when the voltage meter gets stable, like right now with the 2070, uh, we're gonna use it as, the, as a standard. So. The standard was 2065 or 2070 so we take out this 1600 and instead we put 60 no actually 2065 and that is the standard and now we can actually use this DO probe so we're gonna unload it All right, it's done. So you can check out that the DO probe is outside the water. That is why it's over six milligram per liter. And we actually set the DO data standard as five milligram per liter. So when the DO data, that DO probe is catching, Below 5 mg per liter, uh, this device, this automatic aerator runs. And when it reaches over 5 mg per liter, this motor st stops. That is why it says motor status off. And you can also check the current temperature and how many seconds it has been running. Now we actually put the device inside the water tank. And since the water, we just got it from the running water and there's not much of an oxygen inside. And when we give, give it a couple of minutes, uh, it's gonna run. And right now, the probe has its bubbles from the outside. Like when it was outside the tank, uh, there was an air. Some of, some of air got inside the probe and it's still catching the oxygen from the air. That is why it says, oh, six milligram per liter. And now it just changed to five because uh, it just catched, uh, yeah, it just caught the water oxygen level. And you can see that motor speed is uh, 26, 264, five. And now it's off again because it has been running and this aerator is actually doing the job making uh, oxygen you know deserving inside the water but the problem with this experiment is that we don't have this uh, DO consuming variable which is shrimp in this case so you cannot expect a radical change of the of the value because uh, the do in the water when 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 it gets uh, when it gets when it gets made by the aerator uh, it goes high but you see there's no way that we can cut it down other than putting a uh, dry ice into the water uh, yeah so uh, I think that was the defect of our experiment and other than that I think it went uh, perfect so this was GN Tech Industry 
and thank you for watching.